So Tuesday, March 31st. Uh, I don't even know <laughs> what day of the quarantine, shut-in, safer-at-home uh, thing this is. Um, it was a good day. Got a lot of schoolwork done with Livy. Um, even played a video game while she was awake. Very decadent. Um, she was playing on her tablet, and it was one of those moments where I was like, wait a minute. She gets to play video games. Why can't I? Because before I was like, you know, always on the sidelines, kind of like, okay, well, I should be doing something productive, and oh no, I'm rotting my baby's brain, and blah, 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 and anyways, it was nice to like coexist, and like, I feel like that's an interesting part of this entire phenomenon is like for the first time or in, in, in many ways, like so many of the pressures to have to be or do not necessarily because of your own desires, but because you think that it's expected of you or you're responsible for. And like, that's not to say that you give up your responsibilities. Like I'm, my daughter's still fed and my, I'm, my, the house is clean and, um, you know, the water is running and we're making sure, you know, to the best of our abilities, all those things are happening. Um, which if you can't, sometimes it's nothing to do with your responsibility. Anyways. Um, <laughs> trying too hard to be politically correct and not offend. Um, what was I saying? Right. The, the release of, of expectation and, and that freedom and realization that like, especially as a mom and with kids, um, from my own experience, I don't know about anybody else's, um, there is just so much feeling of judgment or expectation and that the stakes of everything you do are so high and 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 it's familiar because I think it's 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 extra hardcore when you're a mom or a parent um but it's reminiscent of pretty much 99.9 percent .9 of life as a woman too where like, okay, you have to do something as good as a man, but you gotta look pretty, you gotta be inoffensive, uh, like the, the list goes on. Um, anyways, uh, besides, that's, that's besides the point. For me, it was, today there was this realization of, you know, I started the video game and Libby was on her tablet and we'd done a great amount of schoolwork. Um, and there was just the moment when the guilt first came in. I was just like, I shouldn't be doing this. Oh God, what am I doing? I'm a horrible person. I'm a horrible mother. I'm, this is, this is wrong. This is like, I should be locked up. I should be, I should never have been allowed to be a mom. Um, and then I reanalyzed my day and I thought about Livy as a person. I'm like, well, we did school and she's fed and she's happy. And she's even playing games on her tablet that are like, they're not brain rotting. She's not watching, you know, Mad Max or, you know, she's five. So um, it's not a, a anything against Mad Max as a <laughs> film for people who aren't five. Um, and actually that was her favorite movie when she was like two. So that's why it came into my head. <laughs> um, but no, there was just this moment where it was just kind of, there was this freedom of existing together. And I thought back to my own childhood and the moments that, I mean, obviously the moments you love best are the ones where you're laughing and, you know, tickling each other or, or playing around or something, you know, interactive in that way, for the most part. But other than those, my favorite moments were sitting on the couch and watching movies with my family or, you know, staying up late and reading my book and sometimes my mom catching me and or reading my book during the day and coming upon my mom or my dad reading their own books and going, hey, what are you reading? Or they'd ask me what I was reading. And just this sense of existing together, not for each other, but with each other. And there was just this, this moment of clarity for me today in terms of how much of how much processing power my brain goes into tr 
trying to live for other people. Not necessarily because they dictate it. I mean, sometimes in certain cases that might be the case, but in my case, because I, I want to fill the holes or fill the needs or be a benefit. And not always in the ways that are best or in the ways that people actually need. Um, now, this isn't, this isn't me saying that I'm going to, you know, play video games every single day because there will be days where that doesn't work. But it was nice to... And it has nothing to do with video games or not video games, and I'm not trying to make it that point. It was just realizing how human we all are and how that's become something that's only synonymous with compassion, outward compassion. You, you're so, it's such a, a humane act, saving those animals or taking care of the world and, and there's so much taking care of ourselves that needs to happen for that humanity to even be possible. And it's not selfishness, it's not disparaging other people or sacrificing their needs for yours necessarily, but it's realizing that your experience is yours and you're allowed to exist as who you are and not just constantly struggling to be something that you or other people think you should. Anyways, that was my epiphany of the day, thought for the day. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. And there goes my dishwasher. So who knows if you guys can even hear me. Anyways, hope you're all staying safe and sane.